Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 20-year-old female who had been kind of playing, wrestling with a friend and hurt her hip and came in for an MRI. And this is a, this is a coronal T1-weighted sequence here. And things look pretty good. The femoral head is nice and round. Um, astabium looks good. The marrow looks pretty good. This area, this dark here, just looks like it's a place where it's more red marrow than the, the fatty marrow here. So at first glance, things look very good. This is another view here. This is a coronal fat set PD sequence and not much joint fluid. Things look pretty good here with the labrum. So, so far so good. Marrow looks pretty good. Nothing really jumps out. Um, but over here there's a little glaze but doesn't really stand out very much. There's some over here too and some over here. So it doesn't pop out. But if we put up the stir sequence, um, things do stand out a little bit better. So this is the right, here's the left. If we go towards the front, things are good, but if we go towards the back, there's a subtle asymmetry over here, and this view, there's a little bright band over here. So very, very subtle findings. This would be so easy to jog past, and in the past I have jogged past one of these like this. Just You have to look for it carefully, otherwise you won't see it, but I think this is the one that's most convincing. There's a glaze of brightness right beneath the cortex there. And this side is not there. They're having pain in the right hip. So I think, I think this is just a very subtle right stress fracture or stress injury, rather. If I zoom this up and window it, it'll probably be more convincing here. And I'll uh, window, window, window. And here you go. You can see that glaze underneath the, the cortex. So just a very, very subtle stress injury. Super easy to miss unless you really window and look for it specifically. And that injury may not even been the, the real problem. This is a tear of the anterior labrum. It's a sagittal view. This is the front, back, and we see a little septated cyst. When I see any cyst around the labrum, I always think this is a paralabral cyst. I guess a little ganglion cyst could look similar. Sometimes you, you can have little bursal effusions look like this, but there's a little horizontal band here. Um, and I believe this is a little horizontal tear between the anterior labrum the anterior acetabulum and a little paralabral cyst. They all have so had a little, what we call a pseudo defect of the capitellum. Looks like there's a little bite out of it, but this is a normal anatomic variant, just a developmental anomaly in about 10% of people. They have a little notch here in the cartilage and the underlying bone, but just uh, no big deal. Now this patient had one other finding over here. This is the axial image. You can see that subtle stress injury here on the right, just barely discernible. But they also had on the opposite side here an iliopsoas bursal effusion. So the iliopsoas also comes down here, attaches on the lesser trochanter, and along, usually it's along the medial side, a little bit goes here lateral. There's a small fluid collection. This is a bursal effusion bursitis, probably caused by that injury. And also that little bitty tear in the peripheral rim of the left gluteus maximus muscle over here. So constellation of findings, but this is the thing I want to show you how easy it is to miss a subtle stress injury. And thank you very much.